In this question, we're told there are 125 diners in a restaurant who were surveyed to find out if they had ordered garlic bread, beer or cheesecake. 15 diners had ordered all three items, 43 diners had ordered garlic bread, 40 diners had ordered beer, 44 diners had ordered cheesecake. 20 had ordered beer and cheesecake, 26 had ordered garlic bread and cheesecake, and 25 had ordered garlic bread and beer. A diner is chosen at random. Find the probability that the diner ordered A, all three items, B, beer, but not cheesecake and not garlic bread, C, garlic bread and beer, but not cheesecake, and D, none of the items, or these items. We could put a little S here and call this a sample space and write them as probabilities. Alternatively, we could use set notation. And the set notation, as bad as my set notation is, will look something approximately like so. And this is the universal set. You can write them as probabilities. I prefer to write them as the values and then work out the probabilities at the end. Entirely up to you. The place we need to start with this one is the intersection of all three. And that's where 15 diners had ordered three, all three items. So if we call this one now beer, cheesecake and garlic bread, in the intersection we've got 15 diners. And they will go just there. They have ordered all three. The place where we want to go now, and I'm going to split this up, I'm going to split the question up. We've got three parts to the question that we can use. This was the first part. This is going to be the second part, and then we will come on to this part right here. If we consider these ones now, we can fill in the intersections. So, 25 had ordered garlic bread and beer. Now, garlic bread and beer, the intersection is this part right here. We can see we've already got 15, so if 25 in total ordered garlic bread and beer, we need 10 here. Right here we can see we've got the 25. 26 had ordered garlic bread and cheesecake, so the garlic bread and cheesecake is just here. We've already got 15, so this must be 11, and that's the intersection of the two just here. 20 had ordered beer and cheesecake, that's this part right here. We've already got 15, that must be 5. So what we've done, we've used the first bit of information, we've used these bits of information, we can now go to these. 43 diners had ordered garlic bread. So if we look now, we've got 15, 10 and 11 in here, or 10, 15 and 11, which is 36. We need 43, so that right there is going to be 7. 40 diners had ordered beer. We've got 5, 15 and 10, which is going to give me 30. So this one is going to be 10. And then what we've got left now is... 25 had ordered now, uh, sorry, 44 had ordered cheesecake. So cheesecake is in here, and we've got a total now of 31. So this is going to end up being 13. We have 125 diners, so whatever's left is going to go on the outside. So if we add that up, that's going to give me there 28, 38, 53, 64, then we're going to have 71. So on the outside, we're going to have a total of 54 people. These people are the ones that had neither of these. So all I've done is added this up. We got 23, 28, 38, 53, 64, and then we got 71. 71 taken from 125 leaves 54. So all three items, the probability is going to be 15 over 125. And if you want a decimal answer for that one, if you just do 15 over 125, we will end up now with, what's that going to give us? 0 0.12. So that's 0 0.12. Then the next one, beer, but not cheesecake and not garlic bread. Well, that's going to be just here, and that's going to be now 10 over 125. So if you want an answer for that one, all we're going to do now is do 10 over 125. I should really be doing this in my head, shouldn't I? Which is going to be 0 0.08. Then garlic bread and beer, but not cheesecake. Garlic bread and beer, but not cheesecake is this one right here. So again, that's going to be 10 over 125, which is 0 0.08. And then finally, none of these items, 54 over 125, which will give us now, let's put that in the calculator. So what we'll have is 54 divided by 125, and that gives us now a total of 0 0.432. 
So all we've done is set up a Venn diagram. You might want to write the probabilities in. I find it gets a little messy writing 10 over 125 and so on and so forth. I just like to write it in set notation and then find the probabilities as a result. So there we go. All of our probabilities, both in fraction and decimal form.